Hello, welcome to Azure Cloud Channel. In this module, we will talk about how to design tables in Azure Synapse SQL Core. And we will also cover how to determine table category, schema, and table names. And we'll talk about uh, table types that about table persistence, regular table, temporary table, and external table. And we'll talk about distributed tables and types. And I will cover table partitions column store indexes and statistics in this module. Let's talk about determine table category. A star schema is a mature modeling approach widely adopted by relational data warehouse. It requires modelers to classify their model tables as either dimension or fact table. A star schema organizes data into fact and dimension tables. Some tables are used for integration or staging data before it moves to a fact or dimension table. As we design a table, decide whether the table data belongs in a fact, dimension, or integration table. This decision informs the appropriate table structure and distribution. What is fact table? And let's talk about what are fact tables and dimension tables. Fact tables store observations or events and can be sales orders, stock balances, exchange rates, temperature, etc. A fact table contains dimension key columns that relate to dimension tables and numeric measure columns. The dimension key columns determine the dimensionality of a fact table, while the dimension key values determine the granularity of a fact table. Fact tables contain quantitative data that are commonly generated in a transactional system and then loaded into the SQL pool. For example, a retail business generates sales transactions every day and then loads the data into a SQL pool fact table for analysis. What are dimension tables? Dimension tables describe business entities that things we model. Entities can include products, people, places, and concepts, including time itself. The most consistent table we will find in a star schema is a date dimension table. A dimension table contains a key column that acts as a unique identifier and descriptive columns. Dimension tables contain attribute data that might change but usually changes infrequently. For example, a customer name and address are stored in a dimension table and updated only when the customer's profile changes. To minimize the size of a large fact table, the customer's name and address don't need to be in every row of a fact table. Instead, the fact table and the dimension table can share a customer ID. A query can join the two tables to associate a customer's profile and transactions. What are integration tables? Integration tables provide a place for integrating or staging data. We can create an integration table as a regular table, an external table, or a temporary table. For example, we can load data to a staging table, perform transformations on the data in staging, and then insert the data into a production table. And we will talk about what are the distribution we use later in this module. Uh, let's talk about schema and table names. Schemas are a good way to group tables used in a similar fashion together. If we are migrating multiple databases from an on-prem solution to SQL pool, it works best to migrate all of the facts dimension and integration table to one schema and SQL pool. So I will show you example and here I logged into a SQL server SQL pool 
and here we have the database pool one this is available that pool i just created using azure portal for example we could store all the tables in the database underscore pool one sql pool within one schema called any name we can just say some sample schema i will show you how to create a schema just enter schema and sample db and our schema name i'll execute it so user doesn't have permission to perform this action so i need a let me change it to a database pool one from master to database pool one now i will execute this command so now our schema is available so we could store all the tables in this database pool one sql pool within this schema called sample db to show the organization of the tables in sql pool we could use fact dimension and int as a prefixes to the table names if we want to drop a schema i'll just use drop schema and schema name i'll execute this so this is how you create and drop the schemas from sql pool let's talk about table persistence table store that table store data either permanently in azure storage temporarily in azure storage or in a data store external to sql pool let's talk about uh, table types regular table temporary table and external table a regular table stores data in azure storage as part of sql pool the table and the data persist regardless of whether a session is open now i will create a table i'll show you how to create a table using ssms so i will just say create table i will give a table name table one and i will say customer id integer comma address id integer now i will create this table now this table is created so we can just refresh it and i will check in this database pool and see if we have this table available or not so here we can see that table one and we see the columns customer id and address id so a regular table stores data in azure storage as part of sql pool the table and the data persist regardless of whether a session is open let's talk about temporary table a temporary table only exists for the duration of the session we can use a temporary table to prevent other users from seeing temporary results and also to reduce the need for cleanup temporary tables utilize local storage to offer fast performance what is external table an external table points to data located in azure storage block or azure data lake store when used in conjunction with the create table as select statement selecting from an external table imports data into sql pool let's talk about a distributed tables as distributed replicated tables and round robin tables a, a fundamental feature of sql pool is the way it can store and operate on tables across distributions sql pool supports three methods for distributing data 
hash distributed, replicated tables, and round robin tables. And if we don't mention a distribution by default, it creates round robin. Let's talk about hash distributed tables. A hash distributed table distributes rows based on the value in the distribution column. A hash distributed table is designed to achieve high performance for queries on large tables. There are several factors to consider when choosing a distribution column. What are replicated tables? A replicated table has a full copy of the table available on every compute node. Queries run fast on replicated tables since joins on replicated tables don't require data movement. Replication requires extra storage though and isn't practical for large tables. If we the replicated tables is good for tables under 200 GB. What are round robin tables? A round robin table distributes table rows evenly across all distributions. The rows are distributed randomly. Loading data into a round robin table is fast. We should keep in mind that queries can require more data movement than the other distribution method. If we don't define any distributions by default, it creates round robin. So here we can uh, talk about the common distribution methods for tables. If we use a uh, fact table, use hash distribution with cluster column store index. Performance improves when two hash tables are joined on the same distribution column. Let's talk about table category dimension table. What distribution table is recommended? If it is a dimension table, use replicated for small tables. If tables are too large to store on each compute node, use as distributed. What about staging table category? So the round robin is the best distribution for staging. Use round robin for the staging table. The load with CTAG is fast. Once the data is in the staging table, we can use insert select to move the data to production tables. Let's talk about table partitions. A partition table stores and perform, performs operations on the table rows according to data ranges. For example, a table could be partitioned by day, month, or year. We can improve query performance through partition elimination, which limits a query scan to data within a partition. We can also maintain the data through partition switching. Since the data in Azure Synapse Analytics is already distributed, too many partitions can slow query performance. What are column store indexes? By default, SQL pool stores a table as a clustered column store index. This form of data storage achieves high data compression and query performance on large tables. The cluster column store index is usually the best choice, but in some cases, a cluster index or a heap is the appropriate storage structure. We will talk about on these indexes more on our next module let's talk about statistics the query optimizer uses column level statistics when it creates the plan for executing a plan we can collect manually or we can automate collect stats to improve query performance, it is important to have statistics on individual columns, especially columns used in query joins.
creating statistics happens automatically updating statistics doesn't happen automatically update statistics after a significant number of rows are added or changed for example we can update statistics after uh, each load so so far in this module we cover how to design tables in Azure uh, Synapse SQL code and determine, ta uh, determine table category. We discussed about star schema and what are fact tables, dimension tables, and integration tables. And we discussed about schema and table names and table persistence, where the table store data. And we talked about regular table, temporary table, external table, and we discussed about distribution, distributed tables, hash, replicated, and round robin tables. If you have any questions on how to design tables in Synapse SQL code, please post them in comments. If you like this video, please subscribe and share the channel. Thank you.